when we can't hear our partners, we need to take a time out. <laughs> and, nice. uh, and ironically, another thing women can know is that if you're having a little bit of a heated discussion with a man, not an argument, but a heated discussion, uh, it's, it, it's uh, really helpful not to look him in the eyes. Uh, that would be like turn off the video. <laughs> you expand the bandwidth then in terms of it being auditory. When men, men are more visual and women, when you express yourself, if it's a heated conversation, it, there's always a heated conversation means I don't trust you hear me. And okay. when men feel like you don't trust us, it creates a more of a defensive reaction to be right. And so just to minimize that, you know, these are all just little things when you have potential heated discussions, it's good to sit next to each other and look not directly into each other's eyes. When you're having a passionate conversation of love, then look right into the eyes. The eyes are the mirror to the soul, but men are way more visual than women. And so we pick up uh, your mood, the tone of your voice and so forth. Uh, so, that you know, you can see this in movies uh, where if you see two men sort of aggressively fighting each other, other men will pull them off and point them in another direction. It's literally like, don't waste your time. Look over there because... <laughs> You know, it, it, it tends to, once you're in a fight or flight reaction, you become very primitive. We all do. And for men at that time, just have them look in another direction. I noticed myself trying to eat a good diet during this COVID time because we don't have all the right normal stimulation to keep our stress levels down. We're a little bit deprived. If I am watching TV and I see someone eating something, I want to go eat. <laughs> it's like I have to stay away from looking at TV because it makes me want to go overeat. And I, I know it's very, very important that we don't overeat, particularly when we're stressed, because one of the ways we avoid looking within ourselves and finding ways to love ourselves and in a healthy way, process stress. We can talk about how to do that. We tend to eat and and you know, a little bit's fine, comfort food, but basically all comfort food does is postpone you having to deal with your issues. And it also can make you unhealthy. So you have to have an alternative to our addictive tendencies. All addictive tendencies will tend to suppress our negative emotions. And I know I'm just sort of launching out here, but I had some thoughts today and I wanna share another one when I'm talking about how men and women are different. This was a new idea that I had. It was, I explained it very clearly. And that is that, you know, we, we've talked before about how men have a male side testosterone, women have a female side estrogen. And, you know, we all crave balance and we want to come together. There's a place inside of men is that when they're stressed, we know this is a big problem for men is they have addictions. Uh, addictions are actually a way that a man can go to his female side when he feels he can't connect with his wife. When he can't actually, when he's not getting enough sex, connecting to the female side, he will then have addictions. Addictions are uh, him feeling I'm dependent on something outside myself to feel good. See, that's what estrogen and estrogen is our female hormone that says I depend on others. And our testosterone hormone is I depend on myself. And when men don't feel confident in themselves, that's when they're stressed, their testosterone goes down and they feel stressed, they will tend to fall over and go to their female side and depend on something external to make them happy. A healthy way to do that is making love. Uh, that is natural, elevating, and ironically, it's exactly what the word says, making love. Making love is so important that we can do in our lives and it's why single people want to find a partner. And the single people that don't want to find a partner to make love is a big part of that, is, is uh, they've experienced falling off the horse, like a child falls off the horse, and they didn't hop back on. And that's very, very important, is that when you have a traumatic experience that you, you know, if, if you've had an experience with a man, I know mainly women are listening, but this would apply to men as well is that if you have felt hurt by someone, uh, you, your tendency is avoidance. That's the way the brain is built. When your hormones are out of balance, that's increased 10 times. Uh, basically, if you're in danger and you're a woman, your fight or flight hormonal reaction is 
increasing testosterone and decreasing estrogen. Now, for man, it's just the opposite, just to keep it in context. For men, when they're experiencing a stress hormone, their testosterone is low, their self-esteem is low, their confidence is low, they're feeling defensive. Their estrogen levels start to rise and they experience a greater dependence on something to make them feel good. And that's what addiction is. And for women, being addicted to being single, you see, we have to see that that's a lot of women, they, they've just been unlucky in love. And so they just give up and, or they have high standards, you know, or they're living in a place of what we call a bias towards negativity. 